everybody welcome back to the channel this is driveway engineer and I'm JR and happy Thanksgiving today I just wanted to do a real quick update give you guys a bit of a project update and what's going on I've had a couple questions and uh, you know I've been doing stuff with the motorcycle lately and, and not so much the truck or the LS stuff so uh, you know real quick while you guys are you know after you're enjoying your dinner and stuff my family doesn't celebrate until Sunday, so I don't really have anything to do at all. But uh, I just want to go over real quick what's going on with some of these projects and stuff. I'm not, this is the 4L80, the new 4L80 that I pulled in the junkyard for the C10 Daryl. I ordered a fixture so that I can put it here on my workbench. I'm going to have to clean my workbench off, obviously. So I'm still doing that. The the deal is that, like, that's my driveway, okay? And that's my truck over there that's not allowed to be in the street overnight. Uh, I don't have room to, this drive, this garage here will fit a C10 if none of this stuff is in it between these benches. I've had my truck in here. The front bumper touches my wife's table saw back there. And the back bumper sits about right here. So there's no work going on. There's no jacking it up. There's no moving it around. There's no room for that in here. Um, and my wife is doing her antique furniture business here in the garage too. So that's why I picked up the motorcycle to, you know, it's something small that I can fit in here and I can work on in the winter so that I can stay busy. And... You know, keep producing content, but mainly just, you know, something fun to do. I've never built a motorcycle. I thought I'd give it a whirl. Um, I still have the C10. I still have the Olds 98. I still have all the LS stuff. I just can't do much with it, you know, in the wintertime, so I put it all away. I am working on getting some shop space, and hopefully that'll work out for me here pretty quick, but I don't really expect it will. So definitely not going to have any movement on that till after the first of the year, most likely. Um... So yeah, in the meantime, I mean, I what I've started doing for the past six months or so is I film everything I do, just absolutely everything. I, I film it all, and because storage space is cheap, I got like a 128 gigabyte card for like 30 bucks or something. So I just film everything, and then I go back in and I edit it into smaller videos and and reshoot an intro for it, um, which helps me to actually be able to get things done in a timely fashion and also helps me to produce content without having to stop and you know set everything up and, and redo it so like if i was roadkill i'd have like five gopros and people standing around going could you shoot that again could you do it again with it you make more sparks when you grind and but anyway so you see some of these videos get out of sync sometimes like you just saw the Suzuki GS motor with powder coat on it, but you haven't actually seen me take it out of the chassis yet, or out of the frame yet. So, that's what I try to do so that I can keep things going, because there's some time, like right now, I don't have anything to do. I don't have any parts, I don't have, I'm waiting on tools for the GS, I'm waiting on a fixture for the C10, so, you know, th that allows me to upload a video in an off week or whatever. And that's how I do it. So, anyway, all the LS stuff is still around. The Oldsmobile is still around. I probably won't do anything with that at all until the springtime. And most likely, I'm just going to grab a 455 for it. They're like 400, 600 bucks. I'll probably just grab a stock one and slap it in there and send it and let my wife drive it around like that. And maybe we'll sell it, you know, if she gets tired of it or whatever. It's really her car. She really likes it. So. The C10, again, because my videos run ahead, I actually had that running and I lost third gear because I lost the direct in the other 4L80. So, I'm trying to string that out and put it together in a logical fashion so that, you know, for people following along, but most people move way faster than me. For me, it's not my daily driver or anything like that. It really doesn't matter if it never runs again. So, you know, but it will run again. And... 
I'm working on it. So anyway, enjoy your holiday. Happy Thanksgiving. If you're not in the U.S., you still have stuff to be thankful for. It's a holiday everybody can get behind, I think. You know, be thankful that you're not starving to death in a strange land surrounded by strange plants and animals. Happy Thanksgiving. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. And we'll see you next time.